Nautilus FM uses global fields for its relationships. In this short video, we are going to discuss global fields and how they are most often used, as well as why we have chosen to use them in Nautilus FM. A global field has one value for all records in a table. The contents of those global fields are different for each user. This means that user A will have a completely different set of values to user B. At the end of a user session, all globals revert back to what they were set when the file was for a single user and work starts over. It is possible to set values of globals in a startup script so that every user starts with those same values. Global fields are frequently used in relationships but only from the context of the parent table. You cannot use a global field on the child side of a relationship because it cannot be indexed and thus will not work. In Nautilus FM we set specific global fields with the primary key of the records that we want to connect to. Until the global field is set, there are no related records to look at, since there is no relationship. When the global field is set, the relationship becomes active and allows the user to look at and work with those related records. In Nautilus FM, a single global field is often used in multiple relationships. For example, the field G company ID connects to the primary key of the company's table, as well as the company ID fields in the invoice and invoice items table. The relationship structure is thus only two levels deep, which makes it very easy to work with. In fact, the entire Nautilus FM set of relationships never goes more than three levels deep. One of the main concepts behind Nautilus FM was to always keep users in context. In a traditional FileMaker system, it is very easy to lose context because you go somewhere else and then can't remember where you were when you did that. The program itself might not have lost context but the user has. When you set a global field in Nautilus FM, it retains the context of that setting until you select something else. Here's an example of how that might work. You are working in a company and a different customer calls with a question about one of their invoices. Yes, you could change companies but you might not want to. In Nautilus FM, you can go to that specific invoice, answer any questions about it and then go right back to the company record that you were working in. You haven't lost context, nor is there any confusion. Nautilus FM also uses global fields for value lists, both standard and related. For example, it uses a value list called G Company Index to display a list of all the index letters of companies, with the index letter being the first letter of the company name. When a value is selected, the portal displaying company names is instantly filtered down to just companies beginning with that letter, in other words the portal is displaying related values instead of all values. By clearing that selection, the portal reverts to all values. Remember these important facts. Global fields have one value across all records. Global fields can only be used on the parent side of a relationship. Global fields are different for each user. And. Global fields are cleared at the end of each session.